Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, and that means it is 85 times 10 SBC day once again. Not that the SBC is coming out, because it's already been out, right? We've been able to do the SBC three times per day for the past week, but today we hope for a new and updated 85 times 10 that's maybe cheaper, or maybe allows us to complete the SBC even more times per day. So we have to look at that, our favorite SBC of the summer. Hopefully it gets better today. And we've got a lot more to look at in terms of the market with other upgrade packs coming today and prices continuing to drop in spite of the content, the great content that we are having right now. So a lot to talk about today and maybe the first EAFC 24 leaks of the year. We'll talk about that as well. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start with yesterday's content and a lot of it was in SBCs. It wasn't a crazy day yesterday by any means, but we did have maybe the cheapest or one of the cheapest icon player SBCs of the year. Definitely one of the best value for sure. I can only think of one other icon SBC for a player that's been as good or better value of this, and that's Petr Cech, the icon shapeshifters card. But Ruby Costa, cover star icon, five star skills, four star weak foot. Guys, I honestly don't know if I've ever used a Ruby Costa card ever in FIFA and enjoyed it. And this one is 100% card that is meta usable and such a great price um i'm gonna have to try him out i think for that shot outside the foot shot flare passes again the five skills the four weak foot great card stats all around and super easy to complete six squads but of course the first three of those are just silvers bronzes and then you've got an 85 86 and an 87 no team of the seasons no team of the weeks no nothing to get this card done only 177,000 coins to complete 91 percent upvoted and also 1200 upvotes to only 200 down or thumbs down on footbin honestly what a card over his i guess it only shows the base version but such a massive upgrade and again it makes a usable an unusable icon for a majority of the year in fifa super duper usable so if you're on the fence of whether you should put your fodder into some random icon SBC, uh, this is the one you should put it into. If you're deciding on which one to do, you're going to get it done super fast. It's very cheap. And my goodness, what a card. There's honestly not much else to say there uh, because that is just an absolute W from EA. Um, we are not going to get an, a cover star SBC today. We're not leaked or not supposed to be getting one. We'll be looking more towards that tomorrow on Tuesday, but not another one of those today as we've been on a streak recently of getting all these cover star icons. Now, yesterday as well, EA just hit the refresh button on the 90 plus icon player pick. It is technically a good price if you think about it, 160,000 coins. Coins. It's three easy squads to complete. It does require a team of the season. Did they actually make that more expensive than the week before? They might have. I, I don't even remember because that's just how much I care or really don't care about icon player picks at this stage of the game. I know some of you guys may be chasing like the Trophy Titans R9, the Zidane and stuff like that. But if I'm doing an upgrade pack at this stage of the game, I mean, I would much rather do Rui Costa, first of all, for 160, 170k compared to that 90 icon player pick. But I'd, again, like we've been mentioning, I would rather even put that amount of fodder into uh, an 85 times 10, the 93 plus shapeshifters, or maybe even the 90 plus tots shapeshifter or footies player pick. I just think those are better value to do at this stage of the game. You're going to get a better, more useful meta player and still have an insane chance, or at least a decent chance of packing an insane, insane card from any of those more recent promos than you would from a 90 plus player pick. So that was a bit underwhelming that EA just released that SBC almost again. The word that I come up for that SBC is it's a snooze fest for me. Not going to be completing that one. Now, we did have more XP, as we mentioned in yesterday's video. We got uh, another, what is it, 1,500. So you have to play two, win one, and score three. Once again, you can do this in co-op. If you've got a buddy or a friend that has the kit and you don't, you can still get the objectives done through that and that was basically all of content yesterday i didn't check the store uh but there's already so many special packs in the store did they drop any more let me just quickly scroll through this um paramount pack elite sweeping stars pack okay wow 85 that's not the one where's that i don't know what that one pack is that they added to the code that had like 85 players in it i don't know if they even dropped that one anyways the store is full of crazy packs but the 400k pack method like we talked about yesterday is again impacting the market even more guys that 400k pack method is doing numbers to the market right now once again yesterday we saw prices drop off a lot because so many people are opening this pack from the store and making profit off of it and without insane content yesterday people are doing that once again and in form prices and team of the season prices continue 
to go to the bin. Informs are 20k. They were like 25,000 coins yesterday. All of these cards are dropping off a lot. Even some of your like 88 rated informs are right around 20,000 coins. Look at these drops. This is an 85 Schmeichel. Yesterday he was 24, 25,000 coins all the way to 20,000 coins flat. I mean, look at your 88s. 22k for Mares, 25k for 89s. Informs and team of the season cards are down bad. And it's a combination of the fact that people are going and doing the tradable team of the week and team of the season SBCs once again with the fodder that they are getting from doing the 400k pack method. And, and technically, you can still profit a decent amount from doing that pack, right? If you do all the team of the week and team of the season SBCs from that pack, I mean, you are getting yourself back a nice chunk of change because TOTS cards are still 30k a piece and team of the leagues are still 20k a piece, but it's causing a lot of the prices to drop as that method is rising a lot in popularity. And of course, the SBC demand at the same time there's not a ton of demand in these last two days. Yeah, there's good SBCs that have been released, but it's nothing like Friday where you could do two 93 plus player picks. You had 85 times 10s for the brand new team. You had 87 plus player pick that was out, and there was a ton of prices moving on Friday and Saturday, honestly, in terms of fodder. Uh, but yesterday on Sunday, a bit quieter of a day, and a lot of those prices dropped on the inform end and honestly guys that would be a good place right now if you were just trying to trade i'm still just lazy listing informs and getting sales like 90 rated acuna i sold today at 42k and this douglas louise i think i sold 39,000 coins and i'm pretty sure that both of those cards on the market are way cheaper than that and it's just because uh you get good lazy sales because so many people right now are doing sbcs how much is acuna i sold that acuna at 42k and right now he's on the market for 20 25k for a 90 rated inform yeah i'll list that up for like 40k and, and see if i can get a sale even 37 right that's the sort of stuff you can do right now on the menus because there's so many people doing sbcs it's the end game they care a little bit less and you're not going to get sales every hour but you'll get some decent sales and uh yeah i mean a lot of sbc right now uh in the game which is why there's a lot of ability to profit off of the fodder and that's why we've been talking about it so much now speaking of prices that have dropped as well footies team four that's in packs i'm looking at a lucio footies hero card right now that is like 1.5 mil or even a little bit underneath that i think it was like 1.45 he's maybe up like 30 to 40 thousand coins uh di natale i saw a price for him that was shocking honestly around 1.5 mil for lucio so he has dropped off a lot in the past day uh coutinho is another one that i've got my eyes on just because we haven't had a special coutinho card in such a long time he's like 250k he's dropped off considerable amounts in value over the last couple of hours and honestly the last day as well some of these cards could have some movements upwards as we often see on mondays people get their champs rewards they go out they buy some cards or they buy some fodder too this goes for fodder as well we could see some positive price movements i think today on monday morning because I mean, I think footies actually has a decent amount of hype right now, guys. I don't know if you think I'm wrong or not, but there's a lot of great SBCs. Um, I know a lot of us may have absolutely mudded clubs and need fodder badly to do those SBCs, but there's a lot of people right now that I think are grinding the game because there's so many areas of which you can grind the game right now. And I think that just creates demand for some of these most uh, newest and latest cards on this game and on this market where you might be able to trade with them today. Jonathan Klaus, I think this is going to end up being one of the most popular right backs of the end game. 99 pace, his card from earlier on this year, had a lot of hype. His team of the season and other, uh, well, his team of the season specifically had a lot of hype. But even like his winter wild cards uh, item from back earlier on in the year, that was one that a lot of people use with the 99 passing on it. So um, yeah, keep an eye on this premium footies card. Not saying he's going to go to the moon or go anything super crazy, but just keep an eye on some of the footies today. Oblock's very popular because of the Urente right now. Park Ji Sung is just a disgraceful price for that great of a card. 82,000 coins. Like, man, that is crazy, crazy right there. So just watch out for maybe a few fluctuations. Graven Birch being 100k, that's a club 90 card for 100,000 coins. Just the same thing with Park Ji Sung both club 90 absolutely insane crazy cards so there might be a trading potential opportunity with those cards today now let's get into today's content right the 8510 that's the sbc of the hour that's the sbc of today and we all expect it to refresh it's not a question of is ea going to bring back this F sbc because it's been in the game now what is this is this week three i think week two or week three that we've had an 85 times 10 last week they just increased the number of times that we could do the sbc by one 
per day and I have not done all my 85 times tens but the reason why I'm holding out for on these a little bit is I think they need to get a little bit cheaper and by a little bit cheaper I mean one squad if they come out today for an 85 times 10 and require an 85 or sorry an 87 or maybe an 87 with a team of the week squad inside of this that would help I think a lot of people want to do an 85 times 10 SBC because basically when it gets down to one squad you can put in most of that 85 times 10 that you just opened straight back into the SBC if you didn't like what you got out of it and almost have the whole next squad complete that's the beauty of an 85 times 10 that will hopefully get a little bit easier to complete starting today now EA could also go the route of oh hey we're gonna make it you know just the same exact SBC with the 84 and the 86 rated team requirements with the team of the week or team of the season Season, and we're going to allow you to do it all four or five times a day. They could easily just tack on one or two extra times so we could repeat this per day. But what we're really looking forward to today is just like what they did with the 84 times 10 of last week and say this is a one squad SPC that is repeatable hopefully more times than three. I just feel like EA won't do both today. Either they're going to make it unlimited repeatable um, and make it the same price or maybe make it like five to ten times repeatable. It might be too early for unlimited for an 85 times 10, but who knows, uh, and keep it the same price for that. Or they'll maybe allow us to repeat it less times or maybe at still three or four times but make it one squad. That's what I'm hoping today for that. If you want to get ready and want to get invested for it a little bit um, and you get some fodder in your club, the really the part of the market that I would keep an eye on would be those team of the weeks and team of the season cards, guys. I mean, I believe it was last Monday where those cards started to rise back up heading into content because people were expecting them to rise because of all the SBCs that were going to come out. I mean, the highest rated team of the week cards you can find, 88 rated at 22K. I'm going to say it. I think that's a decent buy, right? And at the very least, like we already talked about, uh, you could try to sell them for lazy buyers, right? Man, 22K for Mars. Like that's that's really, really crazy. Vlahovic is another one here that's at 22K, one of the cheapest ones. Okay, that's his 86. Make sure also for some of these cards when you're going to buy them. Like Vlahovic does have an 88 rated in form. Um, it's not showing up right now. Flippin says the cheapest one was 22K. They're definitely capping. Um, but make sure for cards that have multiple different versions, make sure you get the right one. I'm going to pick up two of these Mares right here because why not? Um, and I'm good for SBCs then today that I would like to do. And maybe I can make some coins off of that as well. But maybe you go out to the market and say, hey, I'm going to pick a couple informs up today or maybe a team of the season card or two just because they could move today. They really could. Wow, 21,000 coins for an 88 rated Carlos Vela. Sign me up. Stuff like that, man, right now with informs being as low as they are, it's really pretty slim risk because if we get you know more 85 times 10s today, I don't exactly know if the 93 plus is refreshing today. I didn't do the 93 plus both times when it first released, so I'm a little behind on this one. You guys might have to let me know down in the comments if this is going to refresh today, because if this refreshes as well and we're able to do it again, that is more team of the week or especially team of the season. I think inside of this one, since it's an 88 rated squad, a guy like that Mares informs and team of the season cards above 87 88 rated would probably move a little bit more especially some of those tots cards that are like 92 rated maybe that's a place where you watch the market today if that sbc is refreshing there's coins to be made there 100 because that 93 plus is a big one and a lot of people did that on friday when it was first dropped because again it's such a high rating so like uh 92 joao mario can i get that for 29k boom see i'm gonna stock one of those on my transfer list I'll even stock it to Debo at 30,000 coins. Sign me up, right? I'll, I'll have those. I'm ready. Maybe list those uh, for fodder and maybe get some sales there. Or, you know, maybe we see those actually go up today a bit in value because there's going to be some more demand. It all depends on the SBC content that comes out for this sort of investment, of course, as always, when we're looking at the team of the seasons or the team of the week cards for sure. So invest if you wish, invest if you uh, want to take the chance or just maybe buy a couple if you would plan to do those SBCs today because I would have to imagine that prices are going to go up a little bit. Now for the rest of the fodder market as well, the same sort of areas for gold cards that we've been focusing on for the past couple of days are where we're going to want to focus again. 83s under like 1.8, 1 1.9k look pretty good to me 84s are like 2k bro that, that's crazy that 84s are 2.8k i'm pretty sure on saturday they were considerably higher than that they were okay 3.7k what did they go to on friday friday they went to over 4,000 coins and then of course remember last week well jekyll was in packs as a rule breaker so that's not the best example 
um, Kovacic was, I mean, I'm pretty sure that a lot of these guys were like 6.5k. Did he have an inform in packs? I don't quite remember if this inform was in packs. No, it wasn't because batch one didn't have any informs. But all of last week, um, 84s were like 6.5k. I don't think they're going to go there from being 3k right now this week. But I could see 84s going to maybe 4,000 coins. You get some lazy sales, of course, listen up on the market, just like with the informs and tots cards. 86s, rumors about Lukaku to Spurs as a Spurs fan. No way, all right? Don't even think about that, Daniel Levy. I just saw that tweet today, and I said, no shot. Do not make that happen. Anyways, for fodder, he's great. One of the cheapest 86s. That might go to 8K, 9K, I mean, probably 8.5 to 9K today for a max on 86-rated cards. They could also just stay around the same value if the content's not that good. At this stage of the game, it all depends on how good the SBCs are that are coming out and that are refreshing each day. That's why the 85 times 10 matters a lot today for fodder, and also the 93 plus if it is refreshing matters as well. Now also, we need our 80 plus player pick to get upgraded, right? We've had this one of four 80 plus player pick for the past two weeks. We need an 81, bring it bring it back EA. We've had an 81 and an 82 plus player picks um, dropped I think during shapeshifters. We need them back, okay? Nobody would say no to an upgrade. Uh, an 81 plus instead of an 80 plus, please, EA, just do it. Same requirements, just regular non-rare golds, 10 of them, seven of them if you're feeling generous, right? Make it even easier. We want that player pick SBC back today and whatever other upgrades they want to drop, so fine, drop them. Uh, the 8430 went away, but I think the 82 times 100 kind of replaces that a little bit. I don't know if we would get another... 82 type 100-esque SBC this week because this is a pretty big one and we can only do it once. It's out for five days. I wouldn't imagine that we get the 83 times 100 unless EA are trying to go real crazy. That might be for next week. I'm not entirely sure, but um, I would expect to see an 85 times 10 refresh today 100%. The refreshes of all the other SBCs, like the 87 plus player pick is coming back. Of course, your daily refreshes on like the daily bronze and silver and all of that good stuff around those parts. You'll be watching out for today as well. And uh, yeah, it's probably going to be the content. I mean, there might maybe be a player SBC, but uh, on some of the Mondays recently, it's just been about the packs. It's just been about the upgrades and the 85 times 10. So kind of Mondays are all about the 85 times 10 returning and that sort of thing, which is why I really want to talk about fodder in today's video and, and get some words in about that, because I think that's going to be probably the biggest part on the market today. And I think people are going to start investing beforehand, right? That's why I'm going to try to pick up a few of these. These might have even been a little bit uh, lower than this before. How much was like, uh, let me just look up this Cobell card that I just bought. How much was he before, like a couple hours ago, it was a 92 rated TOTS card. Did he go even lower earlier today? He was, at, oh, wow, look at that. Squad battle rewards took TOTS like Cobalt from 38k down to 30,000 coins went back to 32 and has been down at 30 since then so I'm fine with 30,000 coins for a 91 or 92 rated toss card especially if it's even a little bit underneath that 29k sign me up right good club stock maybe a little bit of investment there but that's enough talk about investing there is a little bit of uh, EAFC 24 news that I want to talk with you guys about because we've been getting a lot of small bits and pieces here right from EA we're probably going to have more news upcoming pretty soon about fc24 not entirely sure what news we're going to be getting this week i forget what the eafc schedule has said for news and stuff like that um we're not getting player ratings until like later in september we learned that this past week but we have had a couple of interesting tweets have we actually seen the first leaks of eafc24 guys right here Maybe we have. This guy, Nikki Kai, has been a leaker that has kind of come onto the scene in the past few months. His leaks are 90% of the time really reliable. I would put him up there with like Foot Sheriff, honestly. He's got a lot of stuff right. He's the guy that started leaking out for that FIFA U team account. If you guys are really into the leaks on Twitter, this is a pretty reputable leaker from how things stand. And he started tweeting uh, on Sunday yesterday Tonali is set to come as a once to watch player. What do you think its official rating would be? Now, um, when this guy tweets out stuff like this, it's like a player leak. Like, you know, when Foot Sheriff tweets out, oh my goodness, boom, uh, mid R9. <laughs> what an example, right? It's coming as an SBC. What a, what a tweet that was. Never forget. FIFA Twitter will never forget. Um, but when this guy usually tweets out stuff like this, it's accurate. And it's kind of like a player leak like Sheriff does. And he's tweeting out Tonali. 
Um, and it's honestly sounds legit, man. Um, we know that the ones to watch promo is still happening, even though it's not kind of promoted this year on EAFC, like as the pre-order bonus, you get a ones to watch player, right? They're doing like the Nike promo before ones to watch, which is why we haven't heard a lot about it, but we're definitely having a ones to watch this year, guys, because that's a promo that just is a staple of the start of a new ultimate team. And, uh, I, I guess the way this looks, Tonali, I mean, it's a very expected card like you would expect tonali transfer from the Serie A to the premier league to newcastle a pretty big club in the premier league with really good success towards the end of the year last year you would expect him to get a once to watch card so this one's kind of expected i don't know if again if it's a true leak i would i'm kind of taking it as a true leak right now but we have a lot of time before now and then maybe ea is going to reveal some ones to watch cards to us soon and that's why we're even learning this in the first place but he also tweeted out harry kane which is this is the card that makes me scratch my head a little bit and say all right is this actually a leak because if ea in literally two days time frame had the I guess the opportunity to think through let's put harry kane on a weekend when you know most people probably sure at ea they don't work on the weekends i don't know but if they've already decided that harry kane was going to be a once to watch player uh for fc24 ultimate team and they're leaking it and he somehow got the information like when did they decide that like he literally just transferred so this is the one that makes me a little skeptical on if this is a true leak or not but we might have just seen our first ea fc24 player leaks for ones to watch with harry kane and sandro tonali i believe that he has not tweeted out any other cards as ones to watch uh with leaks so watch out maybe for some more information along those lines i know it's a long way away i know that's very highly speculative but i wanted to bring it to your attention today because i saw that thought it was very interesting and uh yeah so honestly guys for this week for me on ultimate team and grinding this game is uh, I'm going to do as many of the upgrade packs as I can do. 93 pluses. I'm going to do probably some 90 pluses as well. I'm trying to hit Messi. I'm trying to hit a Messi, a Ronaldo, a Mbappe, a Neymar. And uh, I'm not really looking to craft. I just did Dino. So I'm kind of like crafted out of like, I don't want to do Rooney. I don't really want to do Jabi Alonso and Rui Costa maybe because he's so easy to do. But I'm looking for like the fun, the fast, the uh, I'm just looking for the adrenaline rush of the upgrading my team hopefully with some insane pack pulls and just doing some of these fun gamble packs and picks instead of grinding out all the squads for Dino at a snail's pace and finally getting it done. That's what I'm looking for this week. Trying to hit one of those 99 rated footies cards or something insane. So I'll see you guys on stream. We're playing on streaming today. Link is down below in the description for a nice grind. Maybe I'll do an 80, 82 times 100, even though it's not really good value. I'm going to have to try that one out. So drop uh, down below in the description if you want to check out that link and come through to the stream. But if you guys did enjoy the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account. See you guys in the stream today. Peace.